Hello Year 2, welcome to today's guided reading lesson as we look at some literal questions. So, going back to the text to find the answer to the questions being asked. Because remember, it's never a memory test. Let's go through the text first. Let me share my screen. OK, so as we know, our story we're using for our comprehension at the moment is Max's new friend, Max's new friend. And we knew yesterday the authors are Brad Herzog and Carla Daly. OK, so let's review first our words from yesterday. What word am I going to be revealing? So if, it, if I said common and not unusual, what word would I be revealing here? Tell me through the computer. Have a think. Well, well done if you said ordinary. OK, it was just an ordinary day. It was just a common day. Nothing special happened. It was just an ordinary day. What word am I going to reveal here, which means another word to love something? Feel free to pause if you want to, but tell me through the computer now. Well, well done if you said adore. To adore something just means to love it. I adore playing football. I love playing football. OK. Third one, to sparkle in light. What word am I going to be revealing here? Which means to sparkle in light. Rather than saying the water was sparkling in the light, I could say the water was shimmering. So to shimmer. To shimmer is a verb. The water shimmered in the light. So well done if you said shimmer or shimmered or shimmering. When I say something's in the real world or it lives in the real world, what word am I going to be revealing here that we learned yesterday? So I could say Jedis do not live in the real world. I could say they do not. Well done if you said existed or exist. OK, to exist means to be alive, to live in the real world. And what's another word for kind of rare and odd, maybe a little bit peculiar? We might say that person is. Well done, strange, OK, strange. So let's try and use these words in our writing. Ordinary, adore, shimmer, existed and strange. Always improving our lexicon our knowledge of the, our bank of words, we, the bank of words we have at our own sort of disposable, the words we know. So today we're going to be looking at some literal questions where we need to go back to the text. So let me model an answer here. The question here says, where does Max live? To do that, I need to follow my four steps. I need to read the question twice, underline the key words, use the text so go back to the text to find the answer and then check my answer is my answer sensible so let me follow these steps where does max live where does max live so i'm looking for where does max live so i've read it twice and i've underlined the keywords now i need to go back to the text i might think i can remember the answer but why would i take the risk let me just double check I think it was something to do with Monster Lane from from reading. But let me let me check first. Max lived at 13 Monster Lane. <gasps> Where does Max live? Max lived at 13 Monster Lane. That's it. 13 Monster Lane. So where does Max live? Max lived at 13 Monster Lane, capital letters because Monster Lane is a proper noun. And I've used the text to find the answer. Now I just need to check the answer. Where does Max live? Max lived at 13 Monster Lane. My answer is sensible. It doesn't say macaroni and cheese. 
Because where does Max live? Macaroni cheese does not make sense. It doesn't say two noses. Why? That we wouldn't make sense. So always check your answer has actually answered the question. So what we're going to be doing today, you are going to be answering your own comprehension questions. So hopefully you have a pen and paper ready and I've got five questions for you to do. I've got five questions for you to do. Here are the first three. I would like you to now pause the video and answer these three questions. So please pause the video now. Well, well done if you've answered those three questions. Here are your next three questions. Once again, please pause the video now. Pause the YouTube video so you have time to answer the next three questions. Well done if you've completed those three questions. Now, let's mark it ourselves. So, nice neat ticks if you get these correct. How many noses does Max have? How many noses does Max have? Well, if I went back to the text, it tells me they each had four horns, three eyes, two noses. So how many does Max have? He has two noses. How many noses does Max have? How many noses does Max have? So I should have underlined how many noses does Max have? We've gone back to the text. Max has, Max has two noses. Max has two noses. Question two, who did Max go and meet? Who did Max go and meet? So who did Max go and meet? Can't remember the answer. I guess I'll move on. Can't remember the answer. What's that? Oh yes, you're right. I need to go back to the text. So who did Max go and meet? Max lived at 13 months late. His family was like any other Audrey monster family. They each had four horns, three eyes, two noses and one tail. That's not about who Max went to meet. Max's dad ate monster pizza. Max's mum adored reading monster books. His sister Millie even snored through both of her noses. Again, that's not about who Max went to meet. One day Max went to meet, oh yeah, one day Max went to meet his friends, Mike and Marty. His friends, Mike and Marty. So you could have written his friends, you could have written Mike and Marty. That's what you need to write, his friends or Mike and Marty. So give a tick if you wrote those. Question three, what did the friends do on Tuesday? What did the friends do on Tuesday? So what did the friends do on Tuesday? I know roughly that is around here. We could make sandcastles, said Max. No, said Marcy, we did that on Tuesday. So what did they do on Tuesday? They made sandcastles. They made sandcastles. They, oh, always spelled correctly. They made sand castles. Now, if the text gives you the spelling, you must spell it correctly. If it gives you the spelling, spell it correctly. So hopefully most of you got three out of three there. Give yourself a pat on the back if you did. Let's have a look at the last three questions. How many green suns were there? How many green suns were there? How many green suns were there? Go back to the text. It was a lovely day. The two green suns were shining brightly. <gasps> the two green suns were shining brightly. So how many green suns were there? There were... There were... Two green suns. There were two green suns. Well done if you got that correct. Question five. Where did Max start walking? Where did Max start walking? Let's go back to the text. So I need to know where he started walking. Go back to the text. 
Max and his friends couldn't think of anything to do. Max picked up his tail and began walking down the beach. <gasps> picked, uh, began walking down the beach. Where did he start walking? He started walking down the beach. He walked down the beach. Where did Max start walking? He walked down the beach. Last step, remember, always check your answer. He walked down the beach. That answer is sensible. Last question. Where did Max think boys existed? Where does Max think boys exist? Mm, where does Max think boys exist? I can't remember. I'm going to have to go back to the text. So read my text here. And I'm thinking, when I go back to the text, I'm thinking about that question. Where does Max think boys exist? He didn't have any horns and he didn't have a tail. That's not about where boys exist. Max could hardly believe his eyes. Again, doesn't tell me where he thinks boys exist. That someone was a real boy. No, not about boys existing. Max thought that boys only existed in fairy tales. Oh, Max thought that boys only existed in fairy tales. So where did Max think boys existed? Only in fairy tales. Only in fairy tales. Max thought boys only existed in fairy tales. So where did Max think boys existed? The answer, only in fairy tales. Well, well done. Well done if you got all of those correct. If you have finished your challenge now, can you write a couple of questions yourself based on the text? Can you create two questions that your teacher would need to use the text to answer? For example, if I was to create a new question here, I might say, mm, what question could I ask? Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, my question, my, my new question might be, how many horns do they have? I can spell, how many horns do they have? What a couple of questions you could write. I wonder if your teachers can answer them. Anyway. Really, really well done. Good paying attention today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for guided reading where we will have a go at inference questions. See you all later. Bye bye.